so you see what I've been telling you It's nothing like it seems It's what I've been Where are we? Well, we're close to Flejic in the middle of a field. Why are we here? <laughs> and we're here to try and find a well that hasn't been seen for about half a century. Um, so very exciting. It's actually more of a spring than a well really, but um, it's a holy well, so we're gonna try and find it. We don't know where the well is at the moment. Um, that is our mission today. We're gonna go and try and find it. We know it's against a walled area um, and that's what our mission is to go and find it. Well, there's a lot, lot of undergrowth and overgrowth, I should really say, that's happened over the, the last half century. If something hasn't been cleared for that, that amount of time, then there's gonna be an awful lot of gorse and bracken and grass and everything that's, that's grown over it. And, and it's been gonna be lost to the naked eye. So it's gonna be a bit of a, perhaps a little bit of a, a trick to find it. So the name of the site is Chiva Beltan and we think that it's either related to two possible things. So um, it's either related to the name of the saint that the keel that was here is connected to, um, or it's connected to Lair and which is May Day. And we know that people used to travel up here on the 1st of May to come and celebrate May Day or um, Beltane. And um, they used to come and bring offerings in taking the offerings of the well in terms of the holy water, they would like to give something in return. So that might be in the form of coins or pins dropped into the well or rags that were tied onto bushes and briars nearby. Um, and that was their form of payment, I suppose, for this holy water that would be um, curing them of their ailments. Well, there was an account quite early on, um, start, of the 19, uh, start of the 1900s, I think, where um, someone plunged their arm into the well um, to get rid of sores. Um, but they would also use the well and scoop it out and either imbibe it or they would actually pour it over where they had any kind of complaints. It was supposed to be used for sort of rheumatoid arthritis and general kind of joint complaints and things like that as well. So I guess using the, the, the water either over or inside you um, for its healing purposes and properties. I don't think I'll be disappointed if we don't find it. I would like to find it. That would be the ultimate aim um, for us to find it today. I think knowing that it's here is quite exciting because it adds meaning to the landscape. It's not just a pretty place that we're in in Flejic, um, but it, it has all this, um, this heritage and these customs and traditions behind it. If we find it, I'd be absolutely de delighted. It's kind of uncovering a piece of history that's been lost for half a century um, and, and kind of just helping people to understand, um, you know, how many hidden things that we've got in the Isle of Man. And it, it's exciting to kind of come across one of them and, and try and uh, put it a fit again. on till yeah this is the end of it here so after that rather intrepid exploration through bracken and briars and gorse pushing our way through we have found what we believe to be the site of Chiva Beltane if you come over here and have a look to begin with we've got a definite outsource of a spring here the water is really clear it's just described as crystal clear how it was in one of the reports of the well maybe with a little bit more silt nowadays um, uh, but it, there's a definite movement of water albeit quite slow there was a, a few little white pebble or white stones um, that we found when we were just uh, having a little look in here before and they are mentioned in one of the reports about um, the well um, and the spring and it runs off here into an area which is lined with slabs of rock now the way that these 
our place doesn't look like it's a natural um, a natural way of all these rocks being um, and this is in line with one of the descriptions of a sump which is where slabs of rock would have been lined um, in, a, in order to collect the water so that people could collect it from the holy well with their vessels. So we're delighted that we have found Chibber Bolton. It was a bit of a gamble coming up here, we weren't entirely sure whether we'd find it or not and of course we were prepared in case we didn't but it's brilliant to have found it. It is worth remembering however that sites like this are ancient monuments and as such no digging or moving of anything or pulling anything up by its roots should be happening at all. Uh, it's really really important to remember that. So in clearing this area so that we could see what was going on um, and see the out outsourcing of the water we were careful just to cut only what we needed to just so we could see things. So back down the hill and to have a cup of tea now. Yeah.